Kakadosh Boker Tov, if you remember, we were mentioning yesterday the entire Lachav going on Erev Rosh Hashanah or Erev Kippur also, that we go on the Beta Kvarot, Ularbot Sham Batechinov, and Otanim Sham Tzedakah Laniim. So there's a minhag of going to the Beta Kvarot. Now the question is, why exactly? So the Mishambra brings down Beta Kvarot, Umakom Menuchat Tzadikim, but Filan Itkabla Sham Yoter. He says, one reason is very simple. At the end of the day, there's Tzadikim there. Right? And therefore, since there's Sadiqim, that tefillah is going to be more accepted over there in the Beta Kvarot, in the Beta Chaim. But he comes and he says, but you should come and ask from a Kadosh Baruch Hu that you should have mercy in the, in the Zichut of the Tzadikim, but do not pray to the Tzadikim. And then also when you're giving the Tzedakah, again, you should give the Tzedakah before you're actually praying, and then you shouldn't go to the same Kever twice in one day. That's another concept of that's just Hanagah all the time, that you shouldn't go to the same Kever twice in one day. Meaning once you went once, you went, and then afterwards when you finish, it, you don't go back to the same Kevin. Another reason which is actually brought down is, is because at the end of the day, when your person goes, they become humbled. And instead of Rosh Hashanah, so therefore they're going to become humbled that they're going to be in the Bet Achim, thinking that at the end of the day, their entire life is going to be dependent upon the next few days. So therefore that's another reason why they're going. It's actually brought down though, that the Ben Yishchai brings down, which is again, today is an Achala, he says, the Ben Yishchai and Rav Ovadi agrees with the Chazon Ovadiah, he says, but there is a way to get out of this. You remember we once mentioned there's a whole question. Can you come and pray to a niftar for, for them to pray for you? Some people say you're Doresh al What does that mean? Kilu, you're coming and you're praying to the deceased. But everyone knows you're not praying to the deceased. You're praying to the deceased that they should be a meletziosha for you, that they should be a good advocate on your behalf. However, though, here, the Ben Yishchai says that it does not apply if you're asking from the nefesh at tzaddik. Meaning you're not coming and asking from the goof of the tzaddik, from the tzaddik to come and to pray for you. You're asking from his neshama that he should go to HaKadosh Baruch Hu and pray on your behalf for whatever it is that you need. And that then will actually be permitted. So that's just to have in mind that that is one of the ways in order to do it, that it's not considered Doresh al because you're praying to the nefesh at tzaddik that he should pray for you on your behalf, that you should have what it's going to be a good year and all the different things that you're going to be praying for throughout the entire year.